Our main medium is pretty much photography, and then mm, some painting, art. being uh, creative. Yeah. Showing the art side, artist side, artistic side. Represents me in a way. Um, I got a camera, uh, backwards musical <laughs> note. What is it? Backwards musical Bas note. Backwards <laughs> musical <laughs> note. That would be right, wouldn't it? Uh -huh. <laughs> um, and a golf ball. These are the chalk pastels that represent the chalks that I use in my art. And they're bright colors because 90% of my art is bright colors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This puzzle piece represents my daughter Lydia. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the puzzle piece is a symbol for autism mm -hmm. and she had autism and epilepsy and so this represents her and the autism um, and the autism aspect of our lives. I can paint, I can color, and draw anything. And I am a really good artist. Now it's all about me. And so I can do anything. Swimming and softball? Yeah. I know you told me before, but now I can get it on the camera. Kimba. This is the voice. So, oh, the voice. Okay, so what is this one here? That's like shelter. That's your brother? Who's this? Yeah. That's you. You look happy. Are you dancing? Kind of looks like you might be dancing. The Art as Memory project is a is a visual art project designed to where essentially we are bringing in local professional artists to facilitate workshops for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities with an eye towards helping to give voice to the, the personal narratives of individuals with disabilities through a variety of media, through sculpture. Um, through ceramics, through painting, drawing, mixed media collage. I've spent most of my career working with people with disabilities mm -hmm. and um, my baby sister has a disability and so the advocacy has always been a part of our life. We've had quite a few workshops where, um, where parents particularly have been, have been there side by side with, uh, with their child, whether it's an adult child or a, or a young person, um, to, to not only experience the workshop with them, but also to, to help, um, to, you know, depending on, the, on that individual's ability. Growing up with folks with disabilities, many of whom lived in institutions and had a hard time getting out, you know, we all carry with us these assumptions. Um, and um, so I assumed when we started the project, that the, the wealth of information and the, the articulation of experience would be heavily weighted towards the suffering. But no one wants to talk about their suffering. You know? So there's a lot more emphasis on the redemption and the yeah. liberation, uh, which really is a lesson for me. You know, they're busy living right now, and that's 
in this moment, they're doing what they want to do, they have, they, uh, they're enjoying more autonomy, so why would they come, you know, before a group of folks and start talking about a painful past? Once, once we really begin to engage with, with our participants in the workshops, you know, it became that the artwork is not, it's not about um, rehashing the past and, and yes. you know, and trying to dig up the, the, the hurtful right. memories yeah. and, and so forth, yeah. but rather about this, you know, growth from a new place and, and you know, creating new, um, or developing new modes of expression. And I'm going to give some taps. Yeah. Boom, there it is. Now, what I really like to talk about <laughs> is when you first get this out of there, you're the very first person who's ever seen inside there. The scientists say this is 350 million years. You heard about dinosaurs? Oh, yeah. that, oh, yeah. This is way before dinosaurs. <laughs> These little fish were swimming around and turning into stone. What did you make? Oh, yeah. It's a heart. Each little piece that you take out of there, um, we'll make into something for you over here so that you can make it back on three, one, two, three. Every artist I've ever talked to said it's more, it's about the process, you know, and not so much about the product. It's more about the experience of being out there and doing it and handling different kinds of materials yeah. and thinking this is also yeah. What art can look like, um, you know. So, so I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's heading in that direction. You know, in terms of you know really thinking about about experiences yeah. and um, you yeah. know with an emphasis on that and, um, and process rather than product. Yeah, yeah. And, and and adventures and exploration. I enjoy coming to the program because it's a process. That is ongoing. Yeah. Yeah. And I enjoy looking at all the art. That's that's the value of 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 the arts. Do you know what I mean? Just as this you know, that it can be this um I don't know. Just it's, it's such an exploration, and it's such a um, it's such a way to like get down in there and kind of dig dig things out. You know, and it makes you think, and it, you know, and and I think that that's been you know one of the one of the um, hopefully one of the huge benefits for for people who have who are participating. Right now, my my energies certainly have been devoted to the to being out in the field, I guess you know, and, and, and you know, working working with different folks and you know, and, and, and facilitating the workshops and so forth. And so it's been you know, it's been less about um, yeah. what's hanging on the walls at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh, A place where art is created rather than just exhibited. Look at art as an escape or a process. Dealing with the healing mm -hmm. of traumatic brain injury. Do you feel like you finished the art for the day? Yeah, it's good. Awesome. This is great. Have you, ever, have you ever done this before? Yeah. That's all right. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I, I do know a lot of different ages. So good, 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 absolutely. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know what might be a good way too is if you just put a whole bunch. We've developed quite a little community here mm -hmm. as a result of this, yeah. of all of these workshops, you know, that we've got, um, you know, we have people who are, who have come back to, to every single one, and, and I can't wait for the next one, and it's, you know, and we're so, I don't know, I'm thrilled to have these people's voices included in the, in the chorus. Like those feelings, have on gas, we just tap back. Uh-huh, they know you. Yeah. And there's the way back. I had brought up little gifts every time I came. Well, then all of a sudden they were giving each other gifts. Every time we came together, they had gifts for each other. and the creation of that art, that communal experience was really uh, yeah. heartening, it was really beautiful. Uh, and it almost didn't matter what, what we created mean. or even right. if we finished, yeah. but the fact that we were together really yeah. felt good. Uh, and art, again, is, yeah. is a venue to, yeah. to create those opportunities. Feeling to me about um, being a part of this project is that it's there has been a lot of um, a lot of exuberance and joy and, um, and exploration and, um, and and voices are, are are developing I think and I think that's been probably the most the most incredible outcome that I've seen so far. We're we're telling telling people stories in the sense that um, that this you know maybe this is. These are people who, whose whose voices haven't been heard as much, and so it's not about this, you know, these the specific kind of um, histories of you know of, of institutional life and you know and so forth and so on. But it's more about um, giving voice. Mm -hmm. um, my name is Samuel Kanat. And I'm an artist. Um, photographer. I don't want to say, um, make me feel superior, but I don't want to have that attitude. Mm -hmm. But, um, it's pretty good. What are different, what, what, what can art look like? And, and, how can, you know, now I'm an artist, you know, it feels, you know, I've, I've, I made this wacky sculpture and I feel more empowered, I guess, or, or, or you know, I feel um, 
I don't know, a sense of accomplishment. I feel like I, you know, I'm an artist and I made this thing and, and I, I didn't know I could do that. And, yeah. You know, and I did. Yeah. So it's, I think, yeah, that's, yeah. that's the joy of it, of, you know. I love doing art a lot. And uh, I always love to draw a lot. I draw everything that I can do. From the house and the bottom. Yeah. I got a cat ball and then juicy the guy. Okay. And for the kids who are nonverbal or. Yeah. You know, I think it was a really great experience for them, even if they were not able to talk and interact so much, it still was an interaction for them that they would not have in their typical daily routine. You're not feeling superior or arrogant to anyone. Uh -huh. You're feeling the power of creativity. Right. Yeah. It's his opportunity to have his own voice without me being involved in it. I think that what I like about myself is that I'm trying to help others see the best in their self and it's helping me to see the best in myself. I've had such an opportunity to help other people see their potential as well because, you know, sometimes we just need somebody to say, you, you do make a difference. Yeah. You know, you need to let your voice be heard. My name is Ian Duvall and what I made it's basically like a booklet, but it shows my future and my past. It's an inspirational speech. It says, life is you. Make it special. It makes me think that make what you want of, make what you want of life happen. Don't dream it. Well, dream it, but make sure it happens in life. Make sure you want to do what you want to do make what you want to make. I wish somebody else is wants you to do what you, what you want to do. And when this all comes together, there'll be a picture of me in the middle and it says, Earth is your canvas. It will turn out to be a booklet. And once that's done, take it home and hang it up on my wall. And I could decide the colors that I should use Some days they're yellows, some days they're reds And some days all kinds of blues Because sometimes I'm happy, sometimes I'm sad and sometimes I don't have a choice Though you might call it play You might call it art I call it finding my voice If my life sculpture and I was in charge of chipping away at the stone I'd work every day to slowly reveal the shape that was there all along sometimes I'm happy sometimes I'm sad Sometimes I don't have a choice You might call it play You might call it art I call it finding my voice I don't believe in suffering Focusing on the past 
sometimes I'm sad, and sometimes I don't have a choice.